What results can a patient expect from stem cell treatment? In each case, the results can be different. It uh, depends on many facts. First of all, uh, the stem cells, when they um, can migrate to these damaged areas or the um, substances which the stem cells produce, they can easily go to via blood-brain barrier and can activate regenerative capacity of uh, the rest cells, improve uh, neurometabolism, activate the growth of new vessels, etc. Okay, now um, what is your success rate of dealing with patients after they've had a stroke? So it, it depends yeah, on many facts and uh, for for example, those patients whose age is younger mm -hmm. and uh, uh, who started the therapy quite early after the acute period when the stroke happened and uh, um, whose uh, disability are not so prominent, etc., mm -hmm. they have higher success rate. It can be even 90%. Uh, I mean, the reaction for the stem cells therapy, the improvements mm -hmm. which they have. So you're saying that of all the patients you've treated uh, for post-stroke conditions, You've seen improvement in 90% of the cases. Yes, this is the okay. best uh, parameters, best datum, yes, mm -hmm. for um, success rate for such categories of mm. younger patients and whose uh, age gives more promises mm -hmm. for achieving better results. And once again, what improvements have you seen after the patient has received stem cell treatment for their after stroke conditions? I'd like to tell you the most uh, prominent case okay. which uh, we had uh, recently in our clinic. So the patient from the United States uh, who had stroke uh, about eight uh, and a half years uh, who came on a wheelchair to us and uh, uh, after having treatment with the stem cells therapy, it was a long treatment with stem cells, IMR treatment, intracellular metabolism recovery, so medication that can improve metabolism of each cell inside, plus physiotherapy. He uh, could, uh, after several months he finished uh, the therapy, he continued uh, his uh, uh, physiotherapy at home, which was individually recommended for him. And uh, um, the amazing result that he got, he could uh, stand up himself uh, after oh. staying uh, in a wheelchair for eight years and a half and he could stand without support for about 40 seconds so it was a real you know holiday celebration mm -hmm. in the family well sure it, you're eight and a half years in a wheelchair and now you can stand on your own i mean you can't run a marathon but it's showed a lot of improvement yes it is a small uh, step uh, you know, for improvements, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, this is uh, the first thing that uh, uh, the family noticed, prominent thing, mm. and it uh, um, bro it broadens the further uh, possible progression. Okay. Now, is it safe to use stem cells? It's a quite safe procedure. The side effect that could be observed in 10% of all cases, it is a mild fever. So the temperature goes up for one, two degrees. And one or two degrees, okay. Yeah, by Celsius. Mm -hmm. And it can stay for one, two hours at that level and then goes back to normal. Okay, now when you're receiving the stem cell treatment, are you monitored? Yeah, of course, patients are, all patients are monitoring and um, their temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, saturation are measured by a nurse, by a doctor. So there's a doctor and a nurse in the room with you while you're getting the stem cell treatment? Yes. Okay, now what, what source of stem cells are you using to treat patients who have been a victim of stroke? 
different types of the stem cells can be used and uh, usually it is combination of own stem cells we call them autologous so it means uh, um, they were taken from own body of a patient and what part of your body are they taken from different source uh, and uh, uh, it can be bone marrow hip area or it can be adipose tissue abdomen area or from uh, peripheral blood mm -hmm. so basically stem cells are in all tissues but these areas are easily to take uh, the stem cells uh, from okay and uh, as well combination with donors uh, uh, allergenic stem cells mm -hmm. such as uh, umbilical cord derived stem cells umbilical cord blood mm -hmm. placenta etc okay so I, you can basically take the stem cells from the patient themselves or receive them from a, a donor? Yes. And is this a healthy donor? Of course, uh, the, these uh, material are uh, thoroughly checked and uh, each dose has a passport uh, and uh, patients uh, can learn all this information when they are in clinic. Okay, so you have all the paperwork on the donor. Yes. So if the patient wants to know hey, who is this coming from, are they healthy, history, things of that nature. You see, uh, in the passport, we call uh, this uh, document is a passport for mm -hmm. the stem cell. Mm -hmm. Patients uh, can find uh, um, such information, the amount of the stem cells, their viability, so how many stem cells are alive and effective. Mm -hmm. That uh, very important thing that you mentioned, they were thoroughly checked for common infection diseases. And mm -hmm. uh, um, this reaction PCR, helps uh, to test uh, for 100 percent that uh, there is no aid uh, or hepatitis cytomegalovirus so common infection mm. they are not uh, um, so basically healthy donors yes healthy donors okay. in a simple way now how do you administer the stem cells to a, a patient Mm, different ways are possible, mm -hmm. starting with uh, um, injecting into the spinal liquid mm -hmm. to activate uh, neurogenesis uh, uh, in a maximum way. Um, so it is close. Uh, the spinal liquid uh, is around brain and spinal cord. And uh, this is a opportunity to um, activate directly, yes, uh, the uh, regenerative properties of these tissues. Plus, uh, um, it can be intravenous infusion uh, of the stem cells uh, to achieve a general systemic positive regenerative effect. Intramuscular injection inside uh, muscle, um, those which were involved into the pathological process after the stroke, weak muscles, which uh, don't work and uh, um, so these are basic uh, now is, ways. It a, is it a painful procedure it's uh, um, not painful mm -hmm. uh, in case uh, uh, of uh, feeling pain it is done under local anesthesia so the um, process of taking uh, stem cells from bone marrow under local anesthesia and uh, injection into the muscles also um, can be done with uh, tiny syringe like uh, insulin syringe you know yes it, it it has very thin needle so it's a painless procedure that's done under anesthesia okay yeah. are there any side effects involved oh i think we did cover that this there were maybe a, a slight fever um Probably you wanted to mention about contraindication, yes? Contraindication, yes, which are there any patients that would not be a candidate for stem cell treatment? You know, do they have any other underlying conditions that might be contrary or contradicting to what, you know, the stem cell treatment is about? Yeah, uh, it can be uh, categories of patients who have cancer in mm. their history. That is why uh, we should say that uh, they are not candidate. It's better not to mm. do this procedure. Or it can be... Such no, why? Because uh, it can uh, be a trigger for activation, the developing, for the developing of cancer. So the stem, you're saying there's a, there's a chance that the stem cell treatment could multiply the cancer cells in your body and thus further the progression of the cancer. Yes, that's okay. uh, true. <clears throat> All right, and now going in for a stem cell treatment, 
for post-stroke, how long does the treatment take? Here in clinic, uh, patients uh, can stay for 9 uh, days, 14 days uh, to have full session with uh, physiotherapy, which is very important. Mm -hmm. And they start uh, this uh, treatment here and should continue it at home if uh, they want to achieve uh, good uh, results. So okay. there... All right, um, specifically, I want to know what is the duration of the stem cell treatment? Like, say I'm coming in for, I know there are other treatments that we'll get into, but the actual duration of time the stem cell treatment takes per day. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be within 30, 40 minutes. 30 uh, the to time, 40 minutes. Yes, from the beginning on, of infusion till the end of it. Okay, now you mentioned other treatments while the patient is here. Mm -hmm. What other treatments are, we, uh, are you speaking about? We are talking about uh, um, intracellular metabolism recovery, such difficult term, IMR treatment, uh, that uh, helps uh, to improve metabolism of each cell, okay. especially neurons. So together with the stem cells therapy, um, this uh, um, can give better outcome. Okay, all right. Um, now let's see. Now, you mentioned that a patient can come here for nine days or 14 days. Yeah. Based on your evaluation, would you say the patient would be more benefited by a longer treatment? Uh, or does it vary per patient? Now, you see, it's very individual. Before arrival to clinic, uh, when we are in touch with them, we ask for video, for MRI um, information or mm. CT scan. They should fill in special uh, question uh, so to understand what their current condition and uh, uh, how beneficial mm. the treatment can be. Two parts to the question. First off, how long before they start seeing results? after the stem cell treatment, and how long will those results last for before you recommend somebody come back? Mm -hmm. uh, so first results can be observed even when the patients are in clinic. Oh, really? They are mostly connected, these first uh, improvements uh, mm -hmm. are mostly connected with uh, uh, IMR treatment, with physiotherapy. For the stem mm -hmm. cells, uh, it takes longer time to see their results, uh, mm -hmm. and it can be after one month uh, till six months uh, period. This is a time frame mm -hmm. for the patients to feel, to see the results. And uh, um, in each case, they can start, uh, they can last. Uh, different period of time. Mm. According to our experience, to the statistics, uh, it can be from several months period, the duration, how long it can last, uh, till several years. It's a um, um, very individual parameter. Mm. And of course, it uh, depends uh, as well how well patients follow doctor's recommendations, because we are in touch with them. We ask uh, to follow those uh, recommendations which were given when they were discharged. Okay, so you follow up with the patient after they've left the clinic? Yes. Do you give them the, uh, a treatment program to follow at home? Mm -hmm. We suggest them uh, special recommendations mm -hmm. and it can be uh, as well uh, doing different regular physical activities mm -hmm. which helps uh, to improve neuromuscular conduction, which helps to form new neuronal pathways, mm -hmm. all those exercises, normalize the tonus of the weakest muscles, etc. Let me see, one last question. Now, we're here in, in uh, Moscow Clinic for Swiss Medica. Uh, do you have another any other clinics that the uh, patient can receive these kind of treatments? Mm, the same treatment patients can have in another branch, which we have in Serbia, Belgrade. Mm -hmm. So the same treatment they can have there in that branch. I mean, the stem cells, the additional treatment with physiotherapy, IMR treatment, etc. Yeah, so the multiple the diagnostic treatments. Diagnostic part as well. Oh, okay. So basically the, the multiple treatment program that you, that you uh, custom designed for the patient you can get it done in Moscow or you can get it done in Belgrade. Yes. All right, Dr. Alexander, we're gonna get, we're gonna talk again about the success rate. And we'd mentioned previously that you had a 90% success rate with treating patients for post-stroke conditions. Uh, what about the other 10%? Uh, you see, those patients uh, uh, could have uh, just no reaction. 
no obvious improvements. Okay, so there is a chance that a patient won't, won't, re won't receive any benefits from the treatment. Yes, that's yeah. true. Because mm -hmm. uh, really uh, the effect of the stem cells is uh, something that is uh, very individual. Mm -hmm. uh, even if we take uh, ordinary tablet, paracetamol, there are patients who can uh, uh, respond for the therapy quite well, mm -hmm. or there are patients who, d who could find something else, uh, yeah. the alternative for it. So you will agree even with simple chemicals. Uh, Mm -hmm. And the same about the stem cells. It's not something like a magic pill which uh, will help with uh, each one. Yeah. And, it's not uh, going to magically cure every illness with every person. Yes, and it doesn't mean that each patient with a stroke will have the same result mm -hmm. which we described in our story before. No, everyone has its uh, own outcome. Mm -hmm. So there are people who will not respond for the therapy. It can be many reasons for that. Mm -hmm. The age, the duration after the stroke happened. So the longer process is after the stroke, then less uh, results we can expect. For example, seven years, 10 years when the stroke happened. And if uh, these patients are the age of 65 and older. So mm -hmm. when regenerative capacity of the body is very low. Okay, so, um the results after stem cell treatment, they do vary. Overall, you have seen the majority of the patients improve their condition, but not everybody improves. Yeah, and uh, in uh, uh, most serious cases, the success rate can be 70%. Mm -hmm. So it means then 30% will not uh, show any um, obvious uh, improvements. Yeah, yes, because the stem cells can only do so much because they're working with your body. Yes. So if the damage is too extensive, it, it might not it may not repair to the point where you would be comfortable with it but overall the majority of the patients have achieved some success with it yeah and of course they should do uh, exercising mm -hmm. and uh, follow all recommendations they have i wanted to add as well that uh, even uh, to the number of the stem cells in comparison with other cells is different with the age. For example, when uh, the baby is born, one stem cell is uh, for, uh, let's say, 100,000 other cells. One cell, stem cell for this amount. And when people are getting older, let's say the age 65 and older, it is one stem cell for uh, 100 million of stem cells. So mm -hmm. the amount is gradually reducing. That mm -hmm. is why we are aging, there are more chronic problems, etc. because there is a lack of them. That mm -hmm. is why it's very important uh, to have this therapy when it is a catastrophe in the body, a yeah, mm -hmm. disaster like a, a stroke or something else. And this is a chance for these patients to have activation of regenerative capacity of the body and to reduce, to minimize uh, the symptoms, the problems, uh, yes, the uh, consequences of damage that they had. So stem cell treatment is beneficial to replace the cells you lose as you age or to replace the cells that have been damaged uh, because of some traumatic event in the body, some illness, some disease, that's when they're beneficial. Yes, okay. in both ways. All right, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Alexander. Um, once again, Joseph Jerez, a patient of Swiss Medica. We're here at Swiss Medica in Moscow, Russia. And I want to thank Dr. Alexander for her time. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. That's Vidanya. Thank you for your questions, Joseph.